Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm actually doing a March favourites this time. I've not done a favourites video in what feels like forever, but I've honestly got some really nice stuff to show you, so I thought I would just do one this month. Okay, I'm just gonna get started straight away, and my first thing is this mug from Oliver Bonus. I have such a thing with mugs, they have to be the perfect size. I've basically got a kettle that you press the button on, and it pours like the perfect amount of water straight into your cup instead of having to boil an entire kettle. And you can adjust the settings on it so it pulls out less water, but I like to keep it on the top one. So I have to have a mug that is big enough to fit that amount of hot water in. <laughs> I'm going way too deep into this, but basically this is the perfect size mug. It's got a nice handle on it. It's cute, it's got a pink interior and like it's kind of stony outside. And I just think this is the frigging best mug. I love it. And then I've also got another, which was from Oliver Bonus, which is this one. This one is so cute. I love the pattern on it. And again, this one's just got a nice handle. It's the perfect size. I'm gonna shut up now because I sound literally insane. <laughs> Onto something makeup based that I love that I've actually got on my face right now. This is a palette from NARS. It looks like this. And I actually saw this advertised on Instagram and I went straight ahead and bought it. And I don't think I've ever done that before with anything, but this is the perfect little palette for me. So it's got a bronzer, a highlighter and four eyeshadows shades in it. It's got a champagne colour for your inner corners and then it's got a more golden bronzy shade for your lid and then it's got a glitter next to it which is so nice to just dab on your lid. See if you can see this. Do you see that glitter? I really hope so. It's so beautiful, it just finishes off a look so nicely. And then it's obviously got a dark shade at the end. This is my perfect palette. All it's missing is a blusher shade and this would literally be my all time perfect palette. I do pretty much the same eye look all the time just involving these shades. But because this doesn't have a matte brown eyeshadow shade, I just take the bronzer through my crease. I've just been absolutely loving this palette. If you guys would like me to do a video with it where I show you like my springtime makeup, which is kind of what I'm wearing now. I know it's so simple, but I know a lot of you also really like simple looks. So let me know if you would like me to do it because I've honestly been loving this palette. It's called Atomic Blonde. You're gonna have a poo now and be so noisy. Yeah, we've gotta wait for Nelson to finish his poo. <laughs> Let's cover it up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you my view right now. This might be invading his privacy, but <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> he's got a poo tray that he can stick his head out on. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Finished? Finished. Well done. He's such a good poo poo. Okay, the next makeup item that I want to talk about is this Hula contour stick. It basically benefits Hula bronzer but in a stick form. And if I could only take five makeup products on holiday somewhere, this would be one of them. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so nice to contour with, obviously, but if I didn't have any eyeshadow, I could easily put it on my eyelids and just blend it out and it would look really nice. It just creates a really nice, healthy, bronzy look. I don't have it on today, which is kind of annoying. I should have used it to show you. But again, if I do the spring makeup look, if you guys want it, I will use this in it. So nice and it blends so well. A product to go along with that that I do have on today, so hopefully you'll be able to see it, is this highlighter. This is Glossier's Halisco in the shade Quartz. It's my all-time favorite highlighter. It makes you look so healthy. This mixed with the Hoola contour stick is just unreal. In the summertime, I can't wait to wear it. It's literally all you need, like a light foundation with the bronzer and then this on. You honestly look like JLo, so glowy. It's unreal and it stays in place all day. Just looks so glowy. Top five products ever. A lip product that I've been loving, I also have it on today. It's this iconic lip gloss and this one is in the shade Nearly Nude. So this is a perfect, perfect nudie shade on me. As you can see, it's just a really, really nice color. I literally just outline my lips and put it on and I'm good to go. It is quite a thick gloss. It doesn't feel sticky though, but because it's thick, it means that it stays in place and it doesn't come off very easily like if you're eating. I ate porridge with this makeup on and I haven't topped it up and my lip gloss is still on. So this is a really, really good lip gloss if you do like them. I know lip gloss is a love or hate, but I can't live without it. <laughs> a foundation that I've been really enjoying 
is this Cover FX Power Play. I again don't have this on today because I wanted something a bit lighter, but if you look at my past few videos, I've had so many comments on how nice my skin looks and I've had this on. This foundation is beautiful. I'd say it's a medium coverage, kind of a velvet finish. It's not overly dewy, but it's not matte at the same time. Just a really nice like satin velvety finish medium coverage, beautiful foundation, everything blends on top of it really nicely. I can't tell you how long it lasts on my skin because I never wear makeup for that long. I literally film my videos and then take it off, which I need to stop doing because I always feel so much more put together when I've got makeup on. So I need to start wearing it like all day. But if you are wanting to try out a new foundation, this is beautiful. On to something quite random. I became one of those people with AirPods. And I wanted to talk to you about this cute little case that I got. So this is from Amazon. And the reason I got this is because I feel like I'm just gonna lose this AirPod case. And they're so expensive, I can't be affording to lose it. But it's also so tiny. And when it doesn't have this pink case on, it's just like a tiny, 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 just white case, which, which I know I'm gonna misplace. So I went onto Amazon and I found this. And the reason why I bought this is because it's got a hook on the side. So I actually hook this to my keys, my house keys. So I know that if ever I've got my keys, I've also got my headphones, which is good but I know I'm not gonna lose them because I, fingers crossed, touch wood, definitely gonna jinx myself, but I've never lost my house keys. So I just thought I would let you know about these. If you didn't know they existed, I'll link it below. Something that I've been really enjoying is wearing no colored nail varnish on my nails, but just having glitter on it. I think it looks really, really nice when it catches the light. It's just like a little bit of twinkle. It's really cute. So one nail varnish that I've really been liking is this Nails Ink Fairy Freckles. It's really cute holographic glitter. And as I said, it just catches the light really nicely. So if you're growing your nails, which I often am because I do bite them, whenever I'm in the stage of growing them, I just put these on and it's like not fully noticeable that you've got really short nails, but it just adds something really cute. A TV program that I watched in two days, woo, was the OA part two. Not enough people talk about the OA. It came out at the same time as Stranger Things and I never liked Stranger Things. I thought it was really boring, but I loved the OA. It is incredible. I can't really go into what it's about because it's so confusing. It's one of them shows that makes no sense the whole way through until the last episode and then it kind of makes sense and then you're like, ah, oh, I get it now. It really makes your brain work but it's basically about a girl who was blind and she went missing for, I think it was seven years. And then she suddenly came back to her hometown and she wasn't blind anymore. And nobody knew where she went or where the heck she'd been. But the whole show just makes you really think about like death after like dimensions of the world like oh my god it's just so good if you like anything that really makes you think and makes you use your brain and you've got to concentrate on but is such a good show definitely watch the oa i watched part two which has actually got zendaya in which was cute and it was just amazing just so amazing i actually think i enjoyed part two more than part one it followed a very different story but you need to watch the first season to be able to understand the second. Another show that is less complicated that I love has been George Clark's Ugly House to Lovely House. This is on channel, not sure, we'll add it here, but he basically goes to really, really ugly houses, like houses that really badly need doing up, and they work with an architect, it's a different architect every episode, and the family or whoever owns the house works with the architect to redo the house and make it nice, and oh my god, the things they do with the houses on that program is unreal real they take them from just looking absolutely battered and worn and just make them incredible and if i could have another job i would want to be an architect because oh my god it gives me so much joy watching the before and after. I love it. So watch that program if you're into home renovations. One program that really, really made me so happy and so emotional at the same time was Climbing Kilimanjaro. I'm not sure if that's the official name of the program, but it was on for comic relief. Two members of Little Mix, a comedian and loads of other celebrities climbed Kilimanjaro and it was honestly such a heartwarming program. I smiled the whole way through it. I cried at the end. It was just beautiful. So if you want something that makes you excited to be living, which is kind of deep, I'd say go and watch that program. It was so 
heartwarming and it just makes me want to do good for people. And finally, the last section of this video is going to be YouTubers. So I've got a few YouTube channels that I've been loving and the first one is 5 to love I found this channel when they had literally like 20,000 subscribers. They're a family who went through IVF, I think. That's what it's called. But they ended up conceiving quintuplets, so five babies. And they've vlogged their entire journey. Babies are now one year old, and it's just so beautiful to watch. Like, whenever they have a new video, I'm just like, this is the most heartwarming thing ever. They're such a gorgeous family. They're from America, but they're just such nice people. Like, they're the kind of people that you would want to be your neighbors. Like, so nice. Their videos are really funny, really well edited, and if you subscribe, to one channel make it them because honestly they're so cute I'm gonna leave all the links below another channel that I've really been enjoying is it's Judy's life I have such a love for family vlogging channels <laughs> I wish I could have my own but I don't have a baby <laughs> So there's that. I've watched Judy for the last seven years on and off. She has a daughter called Juliana, a husband called Benji, and twin girls called Mia and Kira. And I remember when she gave birth to the twins, I think it was five years ago now, but I remember that day like it was yesterday. I was so excited. They did this poll at the time where people could vote on which names they used, and I was all over that, like loving baby names. I was voting on them. They had so many different ones, but yeah, they chose Mirko and Kira. And they're just such a gorgeous family. I ended up not watching them for I'd say about two years, but recently I found their videos again in the last few months. They post five days a week and their channel is just so happy, but also so real at the same time. Judy doesn't cut out if she has an argument with Benji or if she's having a bad day like a lot of people do. It's not all like happy, happy, happy all the time. They show what real life is like and I appreciate that because I just can't watch people who just show the happy side of things all the time because that, that's not what life is about. Life has ups and downs and I just really appreciate that they're a family vlogging channel who actually show that. The last thing that I've been loving, oh my god, I nearly forgot to tell you, it's my Apple Watch. So I bought this Apple Watch. It was friggin' expensive, like a bloody house mortgage on this thing, <laughs> but I've worn it every single day. I look at it more than I look at my phone. It's amazing. As you probably know, unless you're new to my channel, I am on a diet journey at the minute. I'm losing weight with WW, which was Weight Watchers. And I've always found it hard to track my activity because iPhones don't do it to the full extent. I've had a Fitbit before, but I didn't really get on with it that well. I didn't think it was that good. So I decided to invest in an Apple Watch and I didn't know how much I was gonna love this thing. It's got an app on it called Activity, which tracks how many calories you've burnt like actively. So if you do any workouts or anything, it'll track your calories. I have a goal of doing 30 minutes of exercise a day, so it tracks that. And it also tracks you standing once every hour for at least a minute for 12 hours, which is very helpful for me because it buzzes at me and it's like, you need to stand up. And if it didn't tell me that, I would literally just be sat down all day long. So it also tracks your steps and your total distance. And there's another app on the Apple Watch called Workout, which goes along with it, where you can track any workout that you're doing as well. This watch has made me 10 times more active than I've ever been before. I've gone from a daily average of 2,000 steps to an average of 10,000 steps every single day. Recently, it's been going up to 15,000. I've joined the gym as well, so I've been doing my exercise, and I love that it tracks my calories, and I can track specific workouts, even if it's just a walk outside, you can track it as a workout. Honestly, I'm not selling this watch very well, but if you're wanting to get more active and you care about this kind of thing, honestly, save up for an Apple Watch. I think it's a million times better than my Fitbit was. It spurs me on every single day and I just absolutely am in love with it. So yeah, that is the end of my March favourites. Let me know if you would like one of these every month or every other month. Obviously, I stopped doing them, but I can start doing them again if you like them. But give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!